by Lalo has done for me and his entire family. So I started thinking about what I wanted to say and eventually came to the conclusion that the best thing he's done for us is the following, which is live a life that's dedicated to God. Um, I think what I admired most about my Lolo is his dedication and faithfulness to serve the church. From playing the violin, to playing the piano, to singing in the choir. And most importantly, raising his children, my, my mom, my aunt, and my uncles, to walk in the light of God. I see him and his character in my mom, my parents, and every day, especially now that I'm in college, um, my mom never fails to remind me to always pray and to always go to church. And those times when my brother and I can be really, really stubborn, um, my mom never fails to remind me of her days when she was a child and what her dad or my mama taught uh, her. Obviously, as a teenager or young adult of 20 now, we don't always appreciate what our parents um, say to us. But the more I grew up, um, I'm thankful that my Lola and even my Lola um, even if I never had a chance to meet her, always instilled the discipline and the word of God in my mom, which is what she instilled in me and my brother today. So, Lola, thank you for living a life dedicated to God and showing me what it means to be happy and content with what God has blessed you. And thank you for continuing to be present in our lives, whether it's visiting us spontaneously for dinner, or asking me to fix your computer, even though I don't really know anything about that. But I tried, I tried my best just for you. So thank you for being an amazing grandfather, and I hope you enjoy your birthday and that God blesses you in many more years. And um, now I'd like to call my younger brother, John, to also say something. Ayun ang mga anak yan. Tanda nyo na, matapag nyo. Alright! Pasa nyo na. You've always supported my family ever since we came to America. Even before moving to America, I remember the times you'd always come and visit me, visit us in the Philippines. They always bring gifts to us. Um, when I moved to the um, when I moved to the United States, I remember how you always took care of me and my sister, and how um, we go to your house when whenever my parents were busy. Um, my my favorite memory of you is when um, you'd sometimes come to our house for dinner, and you'd always ask me for a new movie to watch, and um, I just love spending time with you and watching the movie. So, uh, thank you for everything you've done for us. And, uh, I'd like to call, call my cousin, uh, Kim. Kim, yay! Whose yeah. beautiful, smart daughter is this one? to me and I am very grateful for your presence in my life. Learning how to play the violin from you is a wonderful accomplishment. It's also a great opportunity to spend time with you. Um, I wish you a happy birthday and pray for many more years to come. God bless you. some songs and also teaching me a little bit of the violin and I also thank him for uh, bringing me to Dunkin Donuts and Baskin Robbins every time I'm done with school <laughs> thank you uh, my total uh, number of my grandchildren is 15 it's only four that you heard. 
If I have the, the rest, 11 of them, it will take us a uh, long <laughs> time. But it's good, they were still in the Philippines. <laughs> so, thank you very much. Thank you. 